Okay, well, this is cool. <laughs> We're in on Gas Haven. I've quite literally just installed the PTB and uh, queued up as quick as I can. That's interesting. I know they can see me when I'm like this. I've done a, like a little bit of playing around with it. So they can see me when I'm like this. I'm not sure what the advantage of being in this mode is. I assume it's, uh, that's a cool animation. Oh my God, this is so exciting. I assume there's some kind of, um, maybe that's how you teleport. I'm still very much like figuring out the power. Seems uh, very interesting anyway. So I just seem eager to get chased. Okay, so this is how you, how you teleport. Okay. So let's do this. That's a cool animation as well. I have my speed boost. There we go. Got a nice hit on the Leon. I can manifest again. Maybe I can teleport to this TV and cut him off. I guess that's just kind of like the strat with this killer, if I was to guess. I'm not sure where this guy went. He's still on the TLs. He's gonna vault. Okay, this should be the first down unless he has dead hard. You have dead hard? No, you don't. Okay. So let's throw this guy onto a hook and then we can actually get some use out of our new perks as well. That's a cool pickup animation. Okay. There we go. Oh, I could see the auras of the survivors. Can you vault in for me? Oh, please. Okay, if this works, that's actually a nice play. Okay, went back in. We can go for this person here. Or have they gone for save? Is this TV going to be back on yet? I'm not sure how long they take to, to turn on either. Please vault. Oh, perfect. Oh, nice dead hard, actually. That's such a weird animation. When they dead hard, the little symbol still comes up. We got another Scourge hook. They have one gem done. I could break this pallet just to see the animation as well. Okay, I... Aesthetically, I absolutely love this killer. It sounds like they're on this gen somewhere. Or they were maybe at one point. You do feel kind of ridiculously fast almost coming out. If they go for save, maybe I could push them to this TV. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try and do. Can I still hit in this mode? I can't. Okay. Here we go another chase seems like yeah it's the exact same laundry and stuff like that uh she's a small killer she's 115 uh there should be another quick down just because the survivor's in pretty poor position no dead hard either okay let's go into our power once more what gender they pop they pop this one okay that tv's not back on yet i think i can go and turn it on not really too sure how this works do i get knocked out of my power when i get some by pallet i don't okay interesting Wanting me to project over there. What can I do with this TV? Can I turn it back on? No, I can't. Okay. So, it feels like I can almost do, like, nothing in that mode apart from either come back out or teleport to a TV, which is interesting. We have no progress on these two gens. We could quickly just zip across the map. Okay, they're on this one here. I think I'm oblivious for a little bit, or uh, I don't give off... I'm, I'm not too sure how it works. Like I said, this is very, very fresh of the PTB coming out. But uh, I think that's the plan, is to try and kite them to TVs. It does seem like not the strongest killer in the world. I don't know if I'm missing something. But that's kind of like how I'm seeing it right now. Let's teleport to this, because I know there was someone at least close to this gem. We weren't wrong. Oh my, that speed is ridiculous. Didn't go for the pallet. Okay, interesting. You don't get that. Oh, she does. Okay. Maybe spine show resilience. I'm not sure. Very dodgy. What's she doing? She's just going to leave the shack. Okay. Maybe we could just try some normal 115 mind games on this. You can drop the pallet for me. Thank you. Go around this way. Flash my stain. And then we'll come this way. She's paying attention. I think I get that though. She's got to have spine show resilience, right? That's been twice now. Didn't bolt. Okay. Trying the mind games, now she's left it, okay. That's fine, that'll be a down. Looks to me as well that this gem over here, they got to like 90% and then they got off it, so that perk activated and the gem blocked for 16 seconds. Or I assume that's what it was. Is this TV up yet? Can we kite him to this TV? No, it's still not even up, okay, interesting. Uh, I guess I teleport over here then? I feel like that's the main, main part to her power for sure, is literally just 
the speed out of the TV seems kind of ridiculous. Let's get a tag here. And then maybe we go for the Leon. No, the Leon has no idea what he's doing. Uh, really unsure to go for the save. I could just kite him away from this. Waste time. Then the other survivor has to come for the save. What's the Leon doing? Can we flash stay in and come round? Uh, you have dead hard, right? Apparently not. Okay, fine. There we go. Okay, I've got to be careful now because this gen's really close. They have that one over there as well. Where would these survivors have gone? Nope, and they instantly saved. Okay. They could see me. I wonder if I can do some weird... Maybe I could go for the Leon here? In my head, I feel like this is how you're meant to play the killer, but I don't know. This does seem like... I don't- just a very weird killer, like you're just trying to kite the survivors to like one location. Almost. Which does- doesn't seem accurate. Taking hits, okay, no. Just go for this survivor because they're injured. Maybe we could get them out of the game as well, I'm not sure what hook state they were on, but we can see. There we go. Okay, they definitely weren't death hook, but that's fine. This TV's back on. They did pop that gen, okay. Very difficult to play this killer, that's like my first impressions anyway. Is it seems so, so weird. Like I'm kiting the survivors to, to one position almost. Okay, Leon. Nice. There we go. And I still have my TVs up in the late game, which is something that obviously Freddy never had. If I'm comparing it to current killers in the game. Freddy never had anything like this. Freddy, obviously in the end game. The... Generators are all done, so you couldn't teleport to them. This is a free down on that survivor. This guy just It's like he tries to body block, but then he thinks he's he's gonna go. Uh, sorry. I'm gonna go for him. I Get that right. Oh, that is unlucky. I Make that oh they're heal tacking Fair enough. Okay. Well, that's a 2k on the first time I've ever played the killer. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, I just want to round off the video with basically my thoughts on the killer as a whole. So obviously I've played the game, I've edited the video so far, so I'm just finishing it off now. I've had a little bit of time to, you know, watch the gameplay back and, and think about how it went. It feels like they've left a lot to be desired on the power of the killer. And I imagine if they want to sell their DLC and stuff, I imagine it will sell a lot because the ring obviously is a massive name. Uh, it's a really exciting addition to DVD, in my opinion. Like, I, I was very excited for, uh, for it to come out. But I, I definitely think this is first impression, so you have to take it with a grain of salt. Obviously, nobody's worked out the killer power properly yet. Maybe I'm missing something. But it definitely feels like there's a lot to be desired on the killer power side of things. I, I really, really do hope that they get buffed before coming to live servers. And we'll have to see. Let me know your opinions in the comments, because I genuinely do want to hear your side of things as well. If you've played The Ring... Or anything like that, please do let me know. Or just what you thought of the gameplay in general. Does she look weak? Does she look strong? Did I use her wrong? Because I could definitely see that being a thing. And thank you so much for watching.